What's up guys? So ever since we put up the video of how to sync your droid with your iTunes using Double Twist, we've been getting massive amounts of emails that mainly focus on three questions. And when we say massive, I actually mean tons and tons of emails of people that are just getting confused with things that are really not that confusing. So what I'm going to do today is break this video down into three parts and I'm going to address the three most um, pressing issues, if you will. So you can finally sync your iTunes to your Droid with absolutely no problem. So troubleshooting this is going to be very easy. All right, so the three issues that people are having are, first, uh, where can I add, delete, locate my files? Two, why is Double Twist not re reading my Droid or recognizing it? And three, I can't get the iTunes music on my phone. What the fuck? So first thing, you want to get the program called Astro File Manager. If you go ahead and open up your app list, which you can see I did here, there's Astro at the top. I'm going to click on it. As soon as you open it up, it shows you all your folders on your phone. Now I'm going to scroll down and actually look into a music folder, which is on your phone by default. So I scroll down and you see right there music. So what you want to do is you're going to click music and wait for that to open up. Now as soon as that opens up, you see here, here's all the music on my phone, which right now is just six songs, just for the sake of this demonstration. So let's say I wanted to delete a song. I would click and hold the song and then this little menu would pop open. You can see here that I can see the details. I can open it, edit, send, music options. If you wanted to delete it, you would click on edit, which I'm going to do right here. And as soon as you click on that, you can see you can copy, move it, delete it, whatever you want. So this is where all those people would come to if you wanted to completely rid your phone of music for whatever reason. Second question people had. How do I get Double Twist to recognize my Droid, my Droid X, my Droid 2? It seems like a lot of the newer models of Droids are having problems recognizing. What people are failing to realize is that there's a whole process for how you mount your phone to get Double Twist to originally recognize it as um, a device whenever you connect it via USB. So what we want to do is show you guys how to properly mount your phone. And if you just do this once, whenever you open up Double Twist, it'll recognize your phone. So the first thing you want to do is you see at the top here on my notification bar those two little symbols. This means I'm hooked up via USB. So drop down your notification bar and as soon as you do that click on USB connected. This screen opens up and it's blah 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 blah. Just click turn on USB storage. What this is basically going to do is this, gives, <clears throat> this is going to initialize the connection between your phone and your laptop or computer. So I click on turn on USB storage uh, and it gives you this little warning, don't worry about what it's saying, just click OK, I promise everything's going to be fine. And as soon as you do that, the next screen that pops up is the same one as before, but now this guy's yellow and it tells you that before you turn off your USB storage, blah 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 blah, make sure you eject your SD card. So that's how you mount your phone. Double twist, when you did that, would have recognized that you did it, and from now on, whenever you plug your phone into your laptop or computer, it'll recognize it as a device. Now, the last question people had. Um, if you buy music from iTunes, all your songs come kind of tagged. It's called DRM IDing. Uh, this is Apple's way of keeping you from putting your music onto non-Apple devices. So the question is, how do I get rid of the DRM so I can put my iTunes music onto my Droid? It's very easy to do. It's just going to uh, take some time. If you don't have patience, then you're going to have to buy a program to do it. But this is the alternative to buying a program to get rid of DRM. So the first thing you want to do is step one, burn all the music that you want to put onto your droid onto a CD-R or CD-RW disc through your iTunes. Step two is delete all of those songs off of your iTunes and your computer slash laptop so they're completely gone. So the only place you have them is on that already burnt CD. The last step is to put that CD back into your computer or laptop and re-upload the music because when you do this, you're re-uploading music that now has a new file type, so it's no longer DRM protected. Now I know if you have thousands and thousands of songs, this is going to be a bitch of a process, but if you don't want to pay for a program to get rid of DRM, then this is the best way to do it. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. You should no longer be emailing us. If you have any more questions, go ahead, but try these steps first.